Welcome to the Design Init video learning series. In this tutorial, we will begin to explore the interactive knitting section of the Design Init program. For this video, we will be knitting and learning how to use the workspace in interactive knitting and end up knitting a small ferrule piece interactively. We have a design that we like in the Stitch Designer section of the program named Flowers. On the top menu bar, we can see that this is Flowers. This is a design that comes with design in it. It's 24 stitches by 28 rows, repeat. It's knit in Fair Isle and it's going to be knit on a Brother KH 970 knitting machine. We are looking at three repeats horizontally, three repeats vertically. We look at the yarn palette. You can see that the B position needle is shown here as light blue and the D selecting needle is shown in navy blue and this is what we want. So then I can go ahead and say transfer download and it's asking me what knitting machine and it's the KH970 I'm sending it to. If you notice you have brother choices, you have passive choices and a few configurations for silver reed but if you're knitting with a silver reed knitting machine you don't transfer in stitch designer you go straight to interactive knitting and transfer it there. So stitch designer section of the program transfers brothers and passives and interactive knitting transfers silver reeds. Okay to continue. Now it's going to give me step-by-step -step instructions on how to get my pattern transferred from my computer down to the knitting machine and then it will say okay when it's finished. I'm not con currently connected to the knitting machine so I'm going to cancel out of this and let's say that we downloaded our position and we're ready to go. So we've downloaded the pattern and now we go directly into interactive knitting. The first window that comes up is interactive knitting. Are we going to be knitting a shaping file or are we going to be knitting just a stitch pattern? That's true for what we're going to be knitting today. We're going to use the flowers.stp. OK to continue. This is the swatch dimensions now. The stitches is 24 stitches, 28 rows per pattern repeat. We're going to want to knit 60 rows high and 60 stitches wide for our design. OK to continue. This brings up the interactive knitting workspace and there is a ton of things on here that we're going to want to look at. This is the interactive knitting window. It's knitting flowers.stp pattern. It's currently on row one of the pattern and my needle carriage is on my left. The piece that we're looking at here is as if we're facing the knitting machine and facing the knitting machine we're seeing the wrong side of a ferrule piece so this is looking at the wrong sides of the design. I can click anywhere here to move up and down and I can use these buttons here. This button moves to the, to the beginning of the piece. Let's turn the bell off for a second. This turns to the top of the piece. This is spoken instructions. So if I go to the top of the piece, you can see that it talks to you. It also has tunes that it will play to tell you different signals for cable crossings and color changes, etc. It's your choice which ones of these to use. This is a stitch symbols, warnings, and this is highlights. This will highlight this section in yellow when you need to make any changes. Let's go to the beginning of the piece again and I'll turn all the sounds off. Okay, so we've looked at this window. This window here shows it's the needle bed window. This shows me um, left 30 to right 30. That's my 60 stitch wide swatch that I'm going to be knitting. I'm going to be knitting one, two, three, most of three repeats. I have a choice here with my magnifying glass to zoom in to see everything to the left and everything to the right of zero. I can also look at this is the middle of the piece and this is to the left and this is to the right of the middle of the piece. But let's stick with this first view. These two little arrows here control how much you see. This is the row that we're currently knitting on. These needles have been selected to knit and this is the needles and stitch patterns that are coming as ahead and so we can look and see more or less of what's coming ahead depending on what you're working on. 
the three stop lights down here. This is the stop stop light. It stops the synchronization of the cable to your knitting machine. The ready light is the one that we use first. Cast on left needle 30, right needle 30. We're going to cast on in waist yarn. We're going to knit 15 rows. If necessary, in an additional row, put the carriage at the right. Set the pattern row on your knitting machine to row 1. And I have my carriage on the right. I'm going to knit from left, right to left. And that's going to pre-select my needles for row 1. And I'm going to change the row count to 0. So I have row count 0. I have knit, not knit anything in my main color yarns yet, but I've, I've selected the needles ready to start knitting for rows, row 1. And I don't have it connected right now. So you can see here row count 0, maximum is 60, stitch pattern, pattern number 1, row number 1 on our stitch pattern, and the maximum stitch pattern size is 28. And that's the 24 stitches by 28. It's also saying here left needle 30 to right needle 30. If you've been doing garment shaping and this changes and you get up and have a cup of tea and come back to your knitting, you can be assured if you've made any increases or decreases or other things to by looking simply at these needles. We've seen our ready for cast on. We set our carriage for fair isle. This is the yarn window. This is currently saying now we're now that our ready, we're on the left hand side. In this carriage, we need to thread the light blue in the A position feeder and in the B feeder we need to use navy blue. So we're ready to start knitting. I would se select go to have my computer and my cable synchronized together. It's not connected right now so I'm going to say uh, turn this off but usually when you hit go it will say synchronize with carriage and you can start knitting. I can knit one row at a time using these arrows if I'm not connected to the knitting machine like I am now or I can use my keyboard control up and down arrows to knit up and down so and I'm at zero again and let's knit up and now we've knit one row our row count should say is one and we've and our stitch pattern is selected for needles selected for row two of our design and so we're gonna need, we're gonna knit keep knitting like this it says it has 55 rows until it has to do something and what's going to happen is it's going to hit the top of the row and it's going to say cast off and that will be our next set of instructions but we're going to keep knitting up to row 30 and then on row 30 on left 21 and on right 21 I'm going to hang yarn markers this is so that when I finish this as a swatch I can measure between the two yarn markers is 40 stitches and that's my 40 stitches by 60 rows for a ferrule swatch. I'm going to, after I hang my yarn markers, I'm going to knit all the way up to the top. It's saying to cast off the remainder end of piece and so I'm going to knit 15 more rows in waist yarn and then cast this off and so now I have a, a proper swatch that I'm going to wash and dry or treat how I need to treat the material and take my dimensions for my tensions. When I have my options tensions, when I have my 40 stitches measured here um, in centimeters with the 40 stitches in centimeters put it right in here. We'll say it was maybe 13 centimeters and our, our height in row, our height of 60 rows is we're going to say 15 centimeters and designing it will automatically calculate out for you that this is 30 and change for stitches per 10 centimeters and rows per 10 centimeters 40 rows per 10 centimeters and designing it automatically calculates out this math for you from your tension swatch and so this will be the finished tension when you're ready to knit another piece stitch pattern file open a stitch pattern file and you can open it this way or you can say here this button here will bring up my stitch patterns and you're knitting thank you